Hello, welcome to episode, we'll call it 21 of the Epic Film Challenge 2. A uh, thousand more movies you must see before you die. And uh, just, just say anything. No, I want you to talk. Alright, so say anything that the <laughs> film we're going to talk about, which is written and directed by Cameron Crowe, who is, uh, I kind of call him one of my favourite directors, but then it's hard to really find many films he's made that I, like, oh no, I, I, I forgot about Almost Famous. Almost Famous, Vanilla Sky, I love those films, and then there's other films I really enjoy. So I was really interested to see this one, and again, I'm a fan of romantic comedies, and this was one of the ones I'd heard a lot about, but never seen. Uh, had you seen it before? Yes. You had, yeah. Uh, so it stars John Cusack as a young guy who falls in love with a girl. That's it. That, that, that's the film. There, there's no real... Um, I mean, there's, there's other parts of the plot you could go into, but it's not really worth even... You know, you, it, you've probably you've seen this kind of film before. It, it wasn't groundbreaking in that aspect, but for me, I would say it's one of the best ones I've seen in terms of dealing with like teenage love and you know dating and you know all that, all the you know the all those like moments that, that you know young lovers have and kind of like uh, very natural in a way. Yeah, natural. And he was, I thought he was great. He was brilliant because the way he was acting, like I just. When he was uh, calling her, or yeah, when he was talking to the dad, or no, I can't remember when he called. Yeah, he. he but he called, and he was in the bathroom, and he, he's just, like walking around, and then he steps into the tub, and he's standing there, and then he gets out of the tub again, and it's, it's just so weird because yeah. that's the kind of stuff you do when you're nervous and you're just yeah. fidgeting, you know? That's the word, right? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and also I I. Uh, I sound old when I say it, but I remember the the phones with the the curly the wire wires, and I just remember like playing with a wire when I was talking on the phone yeah. when I was a little kid, and and I was just thinking that because they they do play with the wires in the movies, well, it's so natural yeah in that kind of way, and just the way he acted throughout the movie, he was very very strange, yeah. he did very random things which we do in daily life. It didn't look like he planned everything. Yeah, it was almost like he was improvising sometimes, like. Like, it didn't look like it wasn't a script for him to do this and that. Yeah, definitely not, yeah. yeah. He just did it because it felt natural to him to do it if he was in that kind of situation. And I really liked that. So he, he carried the movie for me. Yeah, definitely. Um, the, the girl, I thought, was great too. I kind of like the fact that I, I, I'm sure I've seen her in something, but I, I can't even place it. And so it, I, I kind of yeah. like that when there's someone in a film who you don't really know. You can kind of get lost in the character a bit more, I think. If it was, say, like, you know, Meg Ryan, or something, it was like, oh, it's another Meg Ryan film. And I'm sure she would have been great, but, you know, like, it's cool to see sometimes just one of those random faces. And again, I'm sure she's had a, a career and everything, but I, I, I can't really place her at all. I didn't even look her up, so. Uh, she was good. And her father, who's played by uh, Frasier's father in the TV show Frasier, really? I forget. That was him. I don't know the Yeah, I don't know the actor's name, but um, he was great. Um, I really liked his his part in the film, like so young. <laughs> like it seemed like he was gonna be the typical dad who was like really strict with his daughter, but that didn't really turn out to be the case. And I liked it. I liked that I expected something from him, and it didn't really follow through. And then his story is is pretty big in the film as well. Um, but uh, but apart from that, you do get the typical like she's a brainiac, you know, and it doesn't really hang out with the cool kids, uh, and. John Cusack's or character, with or with anyone, and John Cusack's character is kind of just the you know the the laid back, chill, under underachiever, you know. Yeah. So it's it, it, this again fairly typical setup and everything, but just really memorable dialogue, scenes, characters, and and music. Um, Cameron Crowe has always had a great kind of um, feel for, for putting music into his films. It's always been a huge part of it. I mean he grew up being a journalist and he would travel around with like Led Zeppelin and stuff I think. I'm pretty sure it was Led Zeppelin. But you know, he he has a very uh uh a big passion for music. I remember Vanilla Sky, Tom Cruise said that, you know, when they were filming that film he just had music playing on the set and stuff. So he's a very musical guy and I think the music in the film was was good and kind of reflected to the characters in the film, you know, the kind of stuff they'd listen to and, and everything. And then we have the um the famous scene which I think, yeah, holding up the, the boom box. Now, I thought that that was going to be the end of the film, and that was how, you know, he was going to 
he was going to make his final move, you know, to, to, to win her over and everything, but it wasn't. Because it's so famous, you'd think yeah, that, that would be Yeah, I really did. I thought that was going to be the big, and it wasn't, and I thought that was kind of, and again, that was cool. Yeah. But that's just my own thing, because it's one of those iconic images, and I hadn't really seen the film, so I was expecting it, I was waiting for it. I also like how, actually, uh, the words say anything wasn't spoken between him and her, it was spoken between her and her dad. Did you notice? No, I didn't. I didn't even They never catch it. said that, but it, she said to her dad that oh, I could say anything to you. And uh, she also states it in the letter, I think. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see, so, I see. Uh, that's kind of cool, I think, because it puts a little more focus on the relationship between her and her dad. Yeah, and that was a pivotal one as well. That was that was a big part of her and her dad and, and their relationship. And so yeah. I like that that was a big part of it and it played into everything else and it wasn't just the, the romance, even though that was a big part of it as well. Uh, and I like that I didn't catch the say anything thing because sometimes you go, oh, he said it, he said it, you know, like fam the Family Guy joke, but I didn't. So no, because it was very natural into yeah. the line. Yeah, but yeah. I think it was only said twice in the whole movie, and that was uh, her saying it to her dad. In a way. Well, there's there's some great lines in it, you know, like um, what was it? I gave her my heart and she gave me a pen, you know, <laughs> so it's like mm -hmm. some funny lines and, and great writing and dialogue and yeah I really really enjoyed it is it a film you must see before you die for me it is a yes me too because I think romantic comedies have just as much right as any other genre for well most genres of films um, as being important or significant or something you should watch and I, this is one of the better ones I've seen I think it's more of a classic yeah than, um than for weddings and a funeral for me as well. Yeah. For we, weddings and a funeral is just one of those, I feel like almost like a chick flick that went on in the 90s or whatever, what year it was. Yeah. But this one is like, I feel like it could be a classic, is it 80s? Yeah, 89. 80s um, movie. Uh, it was, yeah, I, I, th I think people should watch it. Not only because of the famous scene with the boombox. No, the, the, people know that scene. No, the, it's like Breakfast Club and the, yeah. the fist in the air. Well, you know? the boombox scene, it, it was a good, it was a good, it was a really good scene, but it you take it out, it doesn't really hurt the film, you know. It added no, it added to it, but everybody knows you know, about it. They do, but it's like the the romantic gesture you make. It's it's like Romeo calling up to Juliet. <laughs> That's the kind of thing it is, and that's where it came from, you know? Yeah. It's throwing rocks on the window. I didn't think about that comparison, perfect. actually, the Romeo and Juliet. That's probably, that's kind of, it's like an 80s take on it, isn't it? Really? True. Um, I, th I think I've seen it in a different movie, uh, because uh, it's been referenced. Yeah. That, this movie has been referenced in that movie, yeah. and instead of a boombox, I think he holds up just a phone. <laughs> like, just playing iTunes or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, it's not quite the same, is it? <laughs> no, but it's fun because he's holding it up like that yeah, yeah, with yeah. the music and yeah. it's supposed to be, you know. And instead of a car, it was a land... Land mower? Lawn mower. Lawn mower. Land, land mower. <laughs> well, we just mow the whole land, you know. <laughs> yeah, lawn... Lawn mower. Mo... 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 I'll stop now. Yeah. <laughs> Got a bit discomb discombobulated there. Lawn um, mower. Lawn mower. Lawn mower. mower. Uh, it was fun seeing his John, Cus John Cusack's sister was in this, playing his sister Real in the sister? film. Yeah, which I thought was kind of fun. Apparently she's uncredited. Oh, the kid was great. The kid was fun, yeah. Like, uh, about him. he's not in it very much, but the memorable scenes when uh, his nephew is in the film. I wonder if that was his real nephew as well, because he had some great chemistry, really. <laughs> and I forget that, I, I, I have no idea what the character's name is, or the actress. It's the girl with the guitar. Who, who, she, she was great. She too. was great. Really good character. She, she, I think she was in the remake of The Haunting. I think the film with Liam Neeson. That's what I recognise her from. Anyway, I feel like she was a typical um, teenage movie character. Like yeah. that kind of character that she is is in a lot of other teenage yeah. movies. Just like the goofy sister in Four Weddings and a Funeral is in a lot of the other kind yeah, of movies. Yeah, I mean, for the record, we watched Four Weddings and a Funeral and Say Anything over the past couple of days, so. It's kind of like two d different kind of romantic comedies from the book, yeah. and again, as I said, uh, it is a, I think a film you should see before you die because it's a it's a great film. What would you rate it? What I rate it uh, easily a nine, you know. Yeah. Uh, it re repeat viewings, I could see it going to a nine point five. It was it was really I loved it. I really did, and it's mainly down to the, to the writing and the, and the performances and everything. Uh, and there was one more th other thing I wanted to say. What was it? Um, I really don't know. Do you have anything else to add while I try and think? I got it. One interesting bit of trivia, 
and it was something that I noticed, but I thought, nah, nah, because I think the film's set in Seattle or something. I'm sure I saw a sign. Anyway, either way, regardless, there's a scene where John Cusack's character, I forget his name now, we only watched it a couple of nights ago, but he, um, he's a kickboxer, or he wants to be a kickboxer, you yeah. know? Um, and in the the gym or whatever, I thought, oh, that looks a bit like the the do, the dojo from Karate Kid. And I thought, well, obviously it's just a, a dojo with you know that's got a mirror on that side, but it is the same one. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just thought it looked similar. Sim similar. Similar. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's how you spell it, <laughs> not how you say it. Similar as well. Yeah. So that's just a random bit of trivia. No, that's that, not how you spell it that, either. That, no, it's not. It's not. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. We'll, we'll both shut up now. <laughs> that, go that was a pointless bit of trivia that really had no right to be in the video, but it's something I wanted to mention. Great film. I thought it was a good one. <laughs> Great film. You should have a trivia for every video we make. Well, I mean, the way I look up films is always going to be trivia, so... Yeah, but something interesting that's related to whatever has been shared before. Yeah. Good film. Yeah. Uh, what would you rate it? Oh, uh, same. So, 9 out of 10. Yeah. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. It's, it's, it's one of the really good ones, I think, in terms of the romantic comedy. And it's a, it's a great 80s film as well. So, thank you for watching.